Have you ever heard the myth that cutting earthworms in half makes two new worms? It turns out this belief is nothing but fallacy. Eh, Kind of. See, cutting an earthworm in half might result in only half of the creatures surviving. There's a few special types of worms that possess an extraordinary ability to regenerate. Take, for example, the three-banded panther worm. This unique creature can be sliced into halves or even thirds, either diagonally or crosswise, and yet each segment will regenerate just fine. Flatworms, on the other hand, can rip themselves in half and regrow their entire bodies from just a small piece. Believe it or not, they can even retain their memories despite being decapitated. And if you slice them into tiny bits, each piece will start acting like a whole worm. Now, let's talk about earthworms. These slimy creatures belong to a group of animals called annelids, and they have a simple nervous system with no brain. Just a single nerve cord that runs the length of their body. When an annelid is split in half, it can regenerate to some extent, normally from their butt. While most times, their head dies. The remaining tail end will eventually regain sensation along its entire body. It'll take some time since most of the sensitive sensory structures are located in the frontmost segment. In certain species, cutting them in half can result in two separate worms, though. As you can see, there's a whole world of amazing creatures out there with incredible abilities that defy our understanding. From the three-banded panther worm that can regenerate from almost any angle to the flatworm that can regrow its entire body, these creatures never cease to amaze us. And the next time you encounter an earthworm... Remember that even they have their own unique story to tell. Do you know what's smarter than a talking worm? A spelling bee. (laughs) These are interesting things with JC.